Hello everyone, and welcome back to a Let's Play Pepper Mario! Oh, hello there, Purple Mouse. Where are you running off to on such a fine, warm day? Yes, I recall that I have literally not played this game since the 4th of July. That was the last time I tried to record. Um, it was rather silly, admittedly, but... Was quite fun nonetheless. Anyway, so let's explore around this place. It's called Dry Dry Outpost. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. I'm not sure how to find it exactly, however, you should go there, huh? Wanna hear something else? Huh. Uh there's a blow in Uh, well. Right, okay. So let's see here. Welcome, travelers. You must have had a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town, so... Uh, yes, you better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. Ah, well, very well then, my insightful friend. So, the second... Ah, uh, temporarily closed. That's right, because we saw a purple mouse run away. Perhaps the shopkeep? Or they were just robbed, I don't know. Are you from Toad Town? Whoa, that's quite a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? Nope, never heard of it. It sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for a Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask for information... You should go ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items, or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend? This guy? Nah, he's way too shy for, to be an information trader. Bowls. Can I direct him to go in any particular direction? Ah, now he just moves in a circle. Ugh, I, I, I'm kind of speeding through that dialogue. I didn't mean to, but it just sort of happened. Oh, nice, uh, nice hair there. Hmm? Oh, are you addressing me? A composer I am, written, writing songs well I try. Sigh. I wish I could find some lovely, heart-moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. Well, good luck with that. Though technically, you don't need to necessarily have lyrics to make songs. A brother and sister who are very close live atop, shooting st uh, live atop Shooting Star Summit. The brother, Merlo, collects star pieces and will trade badges for them. The sister, Merlevi, is a fortune teller who will tell you where to find badges. Oh, hey, look at you. Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I decided to ditch the whole Dry Dry giving every noun the, the, the adjectives dry dry in front of it. That, that was just getting annoying. Um, let's see. And here, back here, we have a little bit of a secret. Keep this quiet. If the woman casts a spell on you, it might help during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger. You might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. I do not rely on this spell. By no means, it will take effect in every battle. The spirit can be beneficial, but also unpredictable. Uh, so if you talk to her and give her some money, uh, she will give you something of a strange, uh, like temporary status where you can randomly recover your HP or randomly get a stronger attack bonus on your enemy or randomly uh, get more money after a fight or get more experience. Uh, hang on, let me check my handy dandy list of rules here. Badges, partner upgrades, badges, partner status buffs, and altar, uh, let's see here, tasty items, all optional bosses. Ah, uh, no rules against this, okay. Oh, well I've been ignoring all that dialogue, sorry. Hello, hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merly, you see. That's me. 
A cuter oh. A cuter gal you'll never see! I do magic, but not for free! Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of this spell. You, uh, when my spell gets upon you, you glow with blood. Sorry. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare take a chance to watch my cards dance? Oh, how lovely. Very good. Now just pick one if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. Ah, uh, the petite course was very temporary. The ordinary course, meh. But let's go for the special course, because you'd have to be stupid to not do that. Tally-ho! And off we go! Well, you sound like you compose the lyrics pretty well. Maybe I should introduce you to that, uh... That... Musician. Oh, hello there. Awesome. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. But even you should meet a beast. Do not fear, not the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. Heart. Right. Well, you'll see how that comes into effect later, I imagine. Uh, oh, and there goes our famous shopkeep. Uh, speaking of things we should do next, I believe we should take a quick nap. Because that sounds wise. Sleepy. Righto. Did you sleep well? Good luck out there. Right. So then. The information trader is over here, but let's see what these people have to say over here. I'm curious. I heard that an archaeologist named Colorado is around here looking for dry, dry ruins. You know what? Even if he takes up the entire desert, he won't find them. Why not? Dry Dryopus was built by robbers long ago, you know? The boss of the robbers was a descendant of a king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now the descendants of that boss hide in this town and keep the ruins safe from prying eyes. You sound like very, very noble robbers to me. Ahem. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get tolls, nice stuff. Do I have anything to give that would be of interest? Well, we're not allowed to use the wacko bumps, so let's do that. Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. More? I feel like I'm being ripped off here. Wackus bump, whatever. Take it. Ah, you give me something, it might be nice. No! Are you serious? I just lost those items for nothing? Well, okay, note to self. If you don't give him items, he will rip you off. Ah, and it looks like he's going back. Indeed. Hello there, friend. Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned Little Mouser Shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? Well, do we have any items that we want to... Ah, stop it. Don't grab me and randomly start flying. That's rude. Uh, well, why don't we pick up this item over here? It's dried pasta. It's a cooking uh, item that we can store for later. Which may come in use at some later point. But right now, as it turns out, we'll actually want to leave Dry Dry Outpost. For you see, there is an item we can give that, um, that information trader. But, in order to actually get that information- Ah! I mean, you, you would eventually find out that you have to give him uh, something that you can find here in the desert. Which can be discovered by going down here. Behold, an oasis. A random glimmer of hope in the depths of dry, dry nothingness. We got a lime! And more importantly, we got a lemon! Hooray! Um, you know, this place reminds me of Kirby 64. The, the way the pattern of this tree is, and uh, the, the, the random brightness. This is totally Kirby 64 right here. Very, very good memories, I might add. I might play that again sometime. But, you know, try to do it with a, a better quality mic and have a bit more organized path with what I want to do. This, uh, anyway, this is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. 
The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Well, um, earlier in the series, we took a poll to uh, see what people prioritized party members for. And the results were... Let's see here. Uh, um, Gumbario scored 8 points. Cooper scored 9 points. Parakari, uh, Parakari scored 4 points. And the winner, Bomet, scored 13. So we're upgrading her first. And then we shall upgrade, uh... Cooper, Gambario, and Perikari, in that order. Unless we end up doing another poll once we get another new character, which might negate the rules of this poll. But that's not gonna happen for a while, so actually, I'll just keep following that order. Ah, what the heck. Let's, let's beat you up, because you're there. In fact, why don't we show off your new ability? Powerbomb! <laughs> Boom! Six on all enemies, kills them instantly. Awesome. Outstanding. See, and, and you guys can probably tell why you, they wanted me to upgrade that one, just for the sheer uh, raw firepower. And I can't thank you guys enough, actually. That was very useful. I mean, you could have had me, like, power up, like, Gobario or something, or, and his attacks would have been not nearly as good. Uh, how am I doing on time? 11 minutes? Okay, I can keep going. Um, we may as well finish up the whole um, outpost thing in one video, then. Okay. Uh, next up. Hello there. I have the item that you seek. You want a lemon. Oh, heavenly! Uh, no. Uh, what voice? Oh, heavenly. A lemon. The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. Uh, what you want to ask is how to see Mos uh, Mustafa. To find Mr. Mustafa, go into the shop in this town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember, dried mushroom first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign to those loyal to Mostafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mostafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, you understand? ENOUGH! Well, goodbye. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Right. So. We must traverse back to the store for the second time. And buy, in the correct order, a dried shroom and a dusty hammer. Oh, for ball's sake. What? Oh! Buying a dusty hammer after a dry trim is a secret sign known only to the friends of Mustafa. That means you are in with Mustafa. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mostafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Uh, what the hell is going on with this Mostafa guy? Is he like a robber or something? Is that it? Because so far I haven't seen anything in this town that even remotely seems to resemble um illegal activity. Aside from maybe the sh uh, the shady uh, magic uh, the magician in the back, but even that's I don't know. This whole thing just seems bizarre to me. Anyway. Ah, he is gone and the door has been left slightly ajar. Hello, breaking and entering. Goodbye. Ah! Yep, got a little hole in the wall there. You might not notice that, but there's a hole. Uh, I think we need to enlist uh, Perikari for this. Up, up. Ooh, and a letter. Speaking of which... Um, yes, indeed. 
Actually, no, we didn't need to use Perikari. Eh. Oh, hello there. Hey, nice guy. We meet again. I'm glad you found me. I am Mustafa. I am the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I have met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey. So, I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will never tell that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. This pulse stone is the key to finding dry, dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. And that, my friends, is that. We have received the Pulse Stone, which will allow us to actually find the Dry Dry Outpost. And Mustafa gave us a pretty good description right there. Um, no, nothing suggests illegal- ooh, hey. I think this is actually a first right here, this character. Do I have time? Skirt, I have time now. I don't recall if this is a first, but it, it is, to m in my eyes. Uh, let's see here. So let's talk to you. Kawiz! Chuck Quizmo's the game, and quizzes on my game. You want quizzes? I get them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Y y yahoo I'll give you a piece of, uh, a star piece. Wanna try quiz? Then let's get to the question. Oh, hello. Question. What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? That would be Gumbaria. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! You've correctly answered one question so far! Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till meet again, bam! Ooh. And then he kinda died. How... how very sad. 